The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. While Jesus was speaking to the crowds, his mother and his brothers ap appeared outside wishing to speak with him. Someone told him, your mother and your brothers are standing outside asking to speak with you. But he said in reply to the one who told him, who is my mother, who are my brothers? And stretching out his hand toward his disciples, he said, Here are my mother and my brothers. For whoever does the will of my heavenly Father is my brother and sister and mother. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Praise be Jesus Christ. Now and forever. Good morning, dear brothers and sisters. Pakibati din ng magandang umaga ang ating mga kasama ngayong umaga. I'm not sure about holiday po ba ngayon? Bakit kayo andito? <laughs> Tinatanong ko rin yung mga bata, bakit sila nandito? Wala daw silang pasok. No? So, yeah, we thank the Lord for this beautiful day, the memorial of the presentation of the Blessed Virgin Mary. To our online parishioners, thank you for praying with us today. The presentation of the Blessed Virgin Mary is a tradition in the church, though not found in the scriptures, but definitely part of our whole body of doctrine in the church. As Mary was immaculately conceived, so was she also presented to the temple like any other Jewish girl or boy as they are born. So we find the account of the presentation of Mary in the temple in the Proto-Evangelium of James. The Proto-Evangelium of James is not canonical, meaning not included in the official list of the Bible books, but we draw a lot of our traditions from the Proto-Evangelium because we cannot just establish the authorship, but definitely nothing contrary to our body of belief. In the Proto-Evangelium, we find the names of, Mary, of the parents of Mary, Joachim and Anne. In the Proto-Evangelium of James, we find the birth of Mary and how when she was three years old, she was brought by her parents to the temple of Jerusalem. And when she was presented to the temple to be taken care of by the priests, and she was, for beginning, three years old, consecrated created to God. And it is said in the Proto-Evangelium that Mary fell in love you know, with the Lord, with God, the Father in the temple. She was like a dove, an innocent dove, finding her home in the temple of God. Again, although quite uh, extraordinary, the account of Proto-Evangelium of James is Mary was even fed by an angel when she was in the temple being trained to be a consecrated daughter of God. Having said that, this is tradition, but what we believe, at least from what we know from the scriptures and from what our church tells us, Mary was, from beginning till the end of her life, she was consecrated, surrendered everything to God. She did the will of God from the moment of conception to her dormition or assumption as she is also declared as queen of heaven and earth. So this feast tells us about surrender, abandonment of oneself to God. That's the life of Mary. It was all fiat from the very beginning. All yes to God. There is a writer who said, you can't fear losing something if you are completely surrendered. 
Mary is called Gracia Plena or full of grace because she had nothing left for herself. Everything that she was and that she had was surrendered to God. If you live that way, you don't fear anything anymore. Ang isang taong isinuko na ang lahat, wala na siyang katatakutan kasi namumuhay na siya ayon sa talatakdaan o ayon sa kalooban ng Diyos na nangangalaga sa Kanya. Let God have your life. He can do more with it than you can. Surrender yourself to God so that you won't fear anything anymore. That's what Ignatius of Loyola did sa kanyang panalangin, sus chipe domine. I think you're all very familiar with that. There was a time no, after he was hit by a cannonball, he got injured, he went to Manresa, or rather, he went to Our Lady of Montserrat, no, somewhere in Barcelona, and then he surrendered his sword to the Lord. He would no longer be a soldier, he will now be a priest consecrated to God. And he composed this beautiful prayer, Suschipe. Take, O Lord, and receive all my liberty, my memory, my understanding, and my entire will. Whatever I have or hold, you have given me. I, resto I restored it all to you and surrendered it wholly to be governed by your will. Give me only your love and your grace, and I am rich enough and ask for nothing more. So stupid Domine, take, O oh Lord, everything. And this is a beautiful disposition in life. You will not fear anything anymore once you say to the Lord, Lord, fiat, your will be done. It is all yours. I am all yours. Kaya ho tayo maraming kinakatakutan kasi marami pa tayong hinahawakan na para sa sarili natin, na para sa gusto natin. Pero pag sinubukan po natin na italaga, ipaubaya, isuko sa Diyos ang lahat. Kalusugan ko man yan, buhay ko man yan, pabili at kabuhayan ko man yan, pangarap ko man at mga gusto ko yan, kung isusuko mo lahat sa Diyos yan, hindi ka na matatakot. Kasi alam mo, alam ng Diyos kung anong gagawin niya sa itisinuko natin sa Kanya. That's the life of Mary. A life of total surrender and abandonment of oneself from beginning till the end. Abandonment to God. And that is the most liberating kind of life. Yan po yung isang paraan ng buhay na pinakamalaya. Kaya lang naman tayo nakukulong at napipiit kasi marami tayong kinakapitan. Pero pagka ang kamay natin ay itinalagat isinuko na wala na tayong katatakutan. Kabiguan, mga problema sa buhay, karamdaman o kahit na nga kamatayan, kakatakutan pa ba natin yan? Kung pati yan, isinuko na rin natin sa Kanya. So today, as we continue with this celebration of the Mass, of the presentation of the Blessed Virgin Mary, I invite all of you, surrender to God. So stupid Domine, take, O oh Lord, everything, my liberty, my memory, my understanding, my entire will, take it. It's all yours. Whatever I have, whatever I hold, I give it back to you. I tell you, magiging malaya ka pag isinuko mo na. You can't fear losing something if you are completely surrendered to the divine will. Pakasabi sa katabi mo nga, isuko mo na yan. Isuko mo na yung pangarap na yan. Isuko mo na yung karamdaman na yan. Isuko mo na yan. Kasi pag isinuko mo na yan, papalayain ka ng Panginoon at lagabayan ka niya sa iyong paglalakbay sa buhay. 
praise be Jesus Christ. Now and forever. Maraming salamat po ulit sa inyong paglalo sa ating banal na misa. Thank you to our visitors and pilgrims. Thank you for being with us. Yung pong mga nag-a-attend ng mga seminars and workshops who are here, guests of Pius, welcome po kayo. No? On behalf of our GM, Arnel, no? we would like to uh, welcome you all dito po sa ating Pope Pius the 12th Catholic Center. After this Mass, we will have a healing prayer through the relics of Santa Maria Goretti and San Isikil Moreno with our prayer in the, the healing ministry partner, uh, Sister Flora. And dito ka na. Yan. So, Sister Flora, pwede po kayo mag-approach sa kanya and she will pray over you as I will also with the relics of Saint Ezekiel and Santa Maria Goretti. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may our loving God bless you and your family, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass has been offered. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.